Holy cow, I got my bay back. The Hudson Terra plane is gone. For now. More to come on that. We'll see. A plan is in place. But that's for later. We get more important things to do. Got this Model A block prepped. D bird cleaned. Seats ground. All the valves are adjusted and lapped and so now I gotta give it the final cleaning on the black and then start cleaning some parts over here. So that's what's going on right now. More to come. Alright, that last project done out. It was a Kia. No one wants to look at a Kia. It had your brakes on it. So that's out of here. Now what am I gonna bring in? Hmm, let's see. Stay tuned. Alright, now scrounging for parts got a friend of mine looking for a 216 head and I just happen to have a 216 sitting here in my storage unit so we're gonna pop this head off real quick and see what we got going on here I don't know if it's good or not but I know I'm driving four hours if it's no good so let me get this off real quick and we'll see what we got all right heads off this engine here would have been the parts engine I needed to put that 36 Chevy together so all I did was I needed the bell housing and flywheel. The engine I did not need, but it just came with a package. Uh, let's get some water in it. Not bad. It, I mean, it always turned over. But it looks like it's got one new valve in it. The rest of them look pretty much factory. So we'll get it cleaned up, and if it's good, sweet. One less thing I gotta worry about. So we're in deep storage. Everything's put away for deep storage. So, <clears throat> let's see, we got the Oldsmobile. This is 6.2 diesel. And we got the El Camino, 67. What's the 350? Hopefully putting that big block in here one of these days. Keep saying that. And we got the 40 Chevy. Two door sedan. Mustang 2 front end, 283 Chevy, 4 speed, 4 9 inch, loud, obnoxious, lots of fun. 54 Chevy, yep, that's over here. Nova front stub, 350, Nova rear axle, that one gets driven a lot. Belly tank, almost pulled that out today, almost did it, but eh, it's cold out. And we got the two Model A's over here, 30, tucked away with all the parts around it, and then the 29 sitting over here. So, yeah, it's waiting on spring. It'll get here, hopefully. But we got other projects to do, so in the meantime, stay tuned. So finally, after about, oh, what was it, two years now, guys? A year and a half? I don't remember. The Worthington is back in the shop. So a lot of you are probably like, what the heck's a Worthington? That's a puddle jumper or a doodle bug. Well, not really. This one actually was manufactured. It uses Ford parts, but it's a manufactured frame. It's got manufactured bracketry to hold the rear end on. <clears throat> so this was built by Worthington, and they use these primarily for golf courses. It's to pull a reel or a gang of reel mowers. At least that's the story. This one just happened to be in the family for almost as long as I've been alive. And it just got handed down to me, oh, I don't know, four years ago, three years ago. And I was supposed to have it done and ready to go here for a while ago. And like usual, things get in the way. Belly tank took priority over this, so. Now the belly tank is mostly done. Get back on this one. So that is what the motor is for that I've been working on. This ain't nothing special. Just a fairly worn out Model A motor. Like I said, Babbitt's not the greatest, stuff like that, but it's gonna be good enough for what we're gonna do. I got the crank all cleaned up, polished up, a couple little rust pits in it here and there, but 
good enough for what we're doing. Oil pump, the gears are shot, but the bushings are good, so I got a new set of pump gears we'll throw in it. The valve train is all done. That's ready to go. Camshaft sitting over there. So little by little, hopefully by yeah, maybe tomorrow, it should be almost a, uh, well, I don't have my rings in. No rings, so I can't put the pistons in yet, but we'll have the valve train in, the crank in, cam in, probably the bell housing and the front cover, stuff like that. So yeah, that's what is going on. And I'm going to look at this 216 head, make sure it looks somewhat decent, and then I'll let my buddy know and go from there.